tin foil. Yeah. They give this for free, by the way, right? Yeah. Wow. Brown bags. You should see what they give in Montreal. Brown bags. Yeah. So they come with little cooker cups, the tin cotton. Cooker cups. Alcohol swabs, distilled water, pies, and clean gear. Ooh, I got like a little bit of anxiety when I saw that and then, device. I always grab a sharp container. I always want to dispose of cleanly and tons of condoms because I work as a whore for a living. <laughs> Wait, what are these? I asked for condoms, so she filled the bottom of the bag with condoms. Condom? What? What? What is? What do you do with these? I've Pre never seen. Prevent them. sexual diseases. Oh. I was like, can I have a lot? <laughs> is this like flavored? Some of them. Some of them are not silicones. This is your tin Why? Why do they give con? Is it for it's STDs? For it's for right. girls that work. Girls that are escorts. Okay, so it's not for like to use as like a rubber band no, to no, old, no, no. like get a vein. No, that's what these are for. Ah, see we didn't see those. Yeah, Holy they that shit. But they... even in the sharps container, they stuff it all full of the same shit. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? They really hook it up. They do. Props, Canada. Good job. Red deer. Red, red deer. deer, thank you, this red deer. This is so red deer. Is it, can you not get this in Calgary? No, I, they have the exchange where you have to bring some to get some. This one, they're just like, fucking take it all. So this must be like a huge fucking issue in Red Deer. Like, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. The homelessness, the crime, the fucking drug addiction, the opiate addiction, and the meth addiction in Red Deer is so fucking bad right now. It's unbelievable. I haven't seen people shooting up on the street or anything That's like that. That's because uh, there's another place behind Superstore, and it's called the Warming Shack, and people can go there and actually actually go in there and they got a little booth set up and you can go in there and use drugs and they got supervision so that you don't overdose and you can go and do it inside away from the city but the businesses that are around this place they have all suffered really dr dramatic drastically because people like don't always use the warming shack and they'll go and use it in the back alley and leave all their dirty needles and stuff all over and Lots of crazy people that have been awake for five days on meth have driven a lot of business away. So most of the businesses around there have moved away. So yeah, it's pretty shitty. Welcome to Red Deer. <laughs> it's so Red Deer. RD. <laughs> RD baby. All right, well, thank you for speaking. <laughs>